Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Joss, and if you love to talk about fragrance and perfume, you've come to the right place, and I hope you consider subscribing. I also hope you'll consider following me on TikTok and Instagram, where I also talk about perfume. Today, I'm really excited to share with you one of my favorite Bath & Body Works body mists, and what I love to layer it with. So this is Bonfire Bash. This is last year's packaging. So this is the 2020 version of the packaging. And this has notes of vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, and cashmere musk. It's a gorgeous, delicious, very marshmallowy, sweet, slightly smoky, beautiful fragrance. You can see how much I've used. I've used about half the bottle, maybe a little bit more. I love this so much. This is my body cream that goes with it that's also almost used up. So I love these and it's such a versatile fragrance. It goes with so many different things. So, and it's still available. So this is last year's packaging. This past summer at the semi-annual sale at Bath & Body Works, they came out with this type of packaging. It has the same notes listed. So the vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood and cashmere musk. I have mine sealed, so I'm not gonna break the seal because I wanna use up my um, body cream before I break into this one. So this is the one that came out over the summer and and then for this fall, they came out with this type of packaging. So this is the one that's currently available at Bath & Body Works. And this has the same notes listed. So I'm just gonna test it a little bit because I assume it smells the same. So this smells exactly the same as last year's version. So really beautiful. I love this so much. And it is so incredibly versatile. It goes with so many different things. So today I am gonna share with you some of my favorite pairings with Bath & Body Works Bonfire Bash. Starting out with my scent of the day, this is Ellie Saab Essence Number no. 8 Santal. This is actually a gorgeous sandalwood fragrance. Any sandalwood focused fragrance would probably go really nicely with Bonfire Bash. This is the one I picked today because it's just a gorgeous sandalwood fragrance, very gender neutral, and it really complements that kind of sweet smokiness of the Bonfire Bash. So it's a great pairing that I'm really enjoying at the moment. Bonfire Bash also goes with your bright fruity fragrances. This is Poison Girl. This is one that goes really nicely. It's just a very sweet kind of syrupy, sort of plummy, fruity, um, really popular, really pretty, um, people pleasing, nice, goes beautifully with Bonfire Bash. So Poison Girl is a good option. Other fruity options are Rose Elixir from Montel. This one has a prominent strawberry note. It's very pretty. It's a deep, rich, very powerful strawberry rose, kind of a jammy rose, and it's got long lasting power. It's really nice. So when I layer my Bath & Body Works or Victoria's Secret body mist, so first I do my lotion or body cream, and I try to let that absorb a little bit while I'm doing other stuff getting ready. Then I do my body mist and I spray it all over. <laughs> because they don't necessarily have the greatest lasting power, which is fine. So I do my body mist next and I do it all over. I do it on clothes, whatever. And I try to let that sit for a little bit. And then I go in with my fragrance. So whatever my fragrance of the day happens to be, I will do my lotion, my body mist, and then my perfume. Another nice fruity strawberry option. This is Kate Spade, New York. This is a very beautiful fruity floral, not very serious, just very fun, lighthearted, not as kind of deep and rich and intoxicating as rosy. Like, so this is much more bright and kind of that type of fruity fragrance. So this is a really nice one. And it goes great with Bonfire Bash because a lot of these fragrances have a vanilla note in the base. So, but even if they don't, sometimes they will really go nicely as a complimentary fragrance with Bonfire Bash. Next, this is Zara Rich Warm Addictive. And this is a very beautiful, it smells just like it sounds. It doesn't have great lasting power, but it's just a really pretty gender neutral, rich kind of smoky, actually reminds me a lot of one of the other ones I have here, which is Amber Oud Tobacco from El Haramain. These are kind of similar. Um, I think this one has a little bit better lasting power, but they're both kind of in the vein of Tom Ford Tobacco Vini, and they're really gorgeous, gender neutral options. They go beautifully with Bonfire, but that sweetness really comes through with that smoky tobacco fragrance. So these are great options too. Another one that I love, this is B from Ellis Brooklyn. This is a really gorgeous, sweet, spicy. It's got the warm spices and the honey and the beeswax. It's really rich and slightly animalic goes beautifully with Bonfire Bash, and I love this one. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. It's available at Ulta or Sephora. Of course, Cookies and Kisses from Clinique, My Happy. This is a really fun and sweet gourmand fragrance. Um, really nice. I really like the Clinique, My Happy fragrances, and Cookies and Kisses is probably my favorite because it's actually very similar to Bonfire Bash. This one's maybe a little bit more fruity than Bonfire Bash, but it's got that kind of sweet, marshmallowy, slightly smoky, um, 
thing going on. So cookies and kisses is a fun one. This is Gucci Guilty Absolute. This is marketed to men. I love this one. It's incredibly smoky and leathery. This is just like your smoky leather, super rich, super, I love this one. I think it's so, so beautiful. And it's just something ugh, deep, rich, powerful. If you like a leather fragrance, smoky leather, this is so gorgeous. And that sweetness in the Bonfire Bash really just kind of offsets that really deep richness, but you still, of course, get it with this because this is a very powerful fragrance. I love it, it's gorgeous. Gucci Guilty Absolute, fabulous. Another Ellie Saab Essence, this one is number four Oud. This is a beautiful, classy Oud and it goes beautifully with Bonfire Bash because you're getting that sweet, that rich, deep Oud characteristic and this is so, so gorgeous. I love the Ellie Saab Essence line. I think probably most of their fragrances would actually pair beautifully with Bonfire Bash because I also have number three Ombra or Amber. That one would be gorgeous as well. I also have number one Rose. I think that would do well too because that's like a really smoky, spicy rose. So the Ellie Saab Essence line are so incredibly beautiful, minimalistic and classy and gorgeous and go beautifully with a Bonfire Bash. Al Haramain, this is Amber Oud Rouge. This is the bon this is the Baccarat Rouge 540 dupe. Smells just like Baccarat Rouge 540. So it is gonna go beautifully with Bonfire Bash. They're both really sweet and beautiful and lovely and they're just gonna complement each other beautifully. So I love this one. I think Amber Oud Rouge is fabulous. It's only just a tiny, tiny bit off from the actual Baccarat Rouge 540 from Maison Francis Kirkchon. Just negligible differences in my opinion. So I love this one and it goes great with Bonfire Bash. Another one that kind of surprised me, this one is Narcissa Rodriguez for her Pure Musk. This is a gorgeous, clean, classy, white flower musk, and it's beautiful. It's, uh, I love this one. And I tried it with Bonfire Bash one day, and I, was, I wasn't expecting it to work out super well. I don't know why, because I love this fragrance. I have a whole layering video dedicated to this fragrance, but they actually paired beautifully together. They just, I don't know what it was, but it just made it this more sweet and beautiful. And I love this fragrance on its own, but it also layers really well with other things. So including Bonfire Bash. This is Slow Dive from Hiram Green. And this is a gorgeous fall dried fruit, honey, and slightly animalic, gorgeous fragrance. It kind of reminds me of Bee from Zoologist. So this one goes really nicely with Bonfire Bash because this is like that really, really sweet, honey, animalic, gorgeous, smoky, but the Bonfire Bash kind of calms some of that down, tames it out a bit, and just makes it, I don't want to say wearable, but for a lot of people, this is not a wearable perfume. This is not a safe blind buy. I adore it, but not everybody's going to adore this one. So I think you might like this with Bonfire Bash, but don't blind buy it. This is Toy Boy from Moschino, and I think this is a gorgeous spicy rose fragrance, and I think this one is gonna go beautifully with Bonfire Bash because this one is very versatile. I think anyone can wear this one. It's beautiful, it's beautiful on its own, but I think layering it with Bonfire Bash is just gonna kind of give it that next level sweetness, gorgeousness. It's just gonna kind of amp it up a slight bit to make it even more beautiful. So I love this one. This is Rose Gourmand from Zara, and this is a dupe for Montal Roses Vanille. Very, very similar. I have a travel spray of Roses Vanille and I have compared them and they're incredibly similar. So Bonfire Bash is gonna layer beautifully with either of those options. Roses Vanille, it's just a classic um, and this Rose Gourmand is a really great dupe. It's such a deep, rich, beautiful rose. And again, this is just gonna give it a little bit more sweetness, a little bit more smokiness. It's just gonna layer beautifully with this one. This is Boss The Scent Private Accord. This is gorgeous. This has like notes of chocolate, orange, coffee, it's just a really beautiful, interesting fragrance. Unfortunately, it doesn't have good longevity, but it's a beautiful pairing because this isn't gonna really extend the longevity, but I feel like whenever I wear this, I, ca I catch whiffs of it throughout the day. So I think this has pretty decent longevity for a body spray. Like I said, I, I catch whiffs of it as I'm going through my day, and I think it can maybe help with this last a little bit longer, but probably not much. So anyway, it's a gorgeous pairing. And the last one I have for you today is Pink Prestigium from Mansara. And this is a really pretty fragrance that I find hard to describe. It's a little bit sharp. It's definitely kind of a loud and in-your-face fragrance. 
it's something that's kind of growing on me. It's something that I've struggled with a little bit, but I'm really starting to like it. I wouldn't say it's a love yet, but I am starting to appreciate it. It's got some citruses. It's just an interesting fragrance. And I think adding the Bonfire Bash to me makes this more wearable for me because like I said, this one was not a love at first sniff. This is something that I'm learning to love and I definitely love this and these two really go nicely together. This is a great pairing too. So so there are infinitely more ideas of great fragrances that will go beautifully with Bath & Body Works Bonfire Bash. These are just a few ideas to kind of get your creative juices going, but I would love to hear your suggestions down below too. What are your favorite things to layer together for fragrances? I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it and I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye.